Hi everyone, welcome to TOE channel. Today we're gonna be playing Ark Knights and we'll be trying a new event that just came out called Contingency Contract. I read briefly about what it is, it's basically an event where there will be a lot of challenging missions. Um, I think some of them are updated daily and you get to kind of choose the difficulty of each stage based on picking certain restrictions on that specific map and of course more you choose more points you get and more points equals more rewards so this time around our goal is to get the most points as possible for each of the missions so we'll be doing a lot of trial and error to get the maximum points on each map of course that's the goal there's no guarantee that i'll be able to make it with my current squad but let's try it and that's i think that's the fun of the challenge so let's get right to it Contingency contract. Oh, I guess we're starting with some story here. Yeah, I guess there must be a reason, right? Catastrophes. Nobody knows when they start occurring, but their ever-increasing frequency tore the land asunder. Well, that's that's kind of sad world to live in, you know? People took refuge with the wisdom of their predecessors constructing heavens of concrete and still known as norm normatic cities to escape annihilation. But at least they come slow enough. I always thought, like, these nomadic cities can run away from it. However, catastrophes continue to relent uh, relentlessly hunt all the lives on above surface. Can she just go below surface? It sounds like Grand Logan kind of thing, you know? Creating suffering that greatly collapses the impact of actual catastrophes. Someone has to take on the task of stopping the spread of catastrophes and of bringing equilibrium to the various city-states that held only contempt and hatred for one another. Well, we've seen enough of hatred so far in the story up to Chapter 5. Otherwise, we'll be powerless to defend ourselves long before the catastrophes tear us apart. But in the story so far, they never fight catastrophe, right? It's been almost all like internal struggle and against like rebellions. Uh, you made it, albeit slightly later than the time we agreed upon. His Dolorman? Oh, it's Angelina. Sorry, we ended up taking a detour. Luckily, a province has, uh, was here, otherwise things might have gotten pretty messy. The extent of rioting, like, speaking of rioting, I guess a lot of things are going around in, around in the world. The reunion has been inciting is so far greater than what we expected. Well, at least we made it here safely. As expected, we at Real Island now have much greater problem at our hands. In any case, good work, both of you. Hopefully the fulfillment of this contract will ease some of our pressure. So I guess these both um, served as the Rhode Island's messenger. I mean, Angelina always bring Rhode Island um, card. Uh, we are not only ones having trouble securing our supplies, our contingency contract partners are having a rough time as well. Everyone is praying that someone can rise up to the occasion and revive this stagnant contract system. Are we talking about like COVID-19 world? It feels pretty um, in parallel. The whole way here, you were going on and about how you wish you could do something to ease the burden on the doctor. <laughs> That's part of Rhode Island operators' obligations. Province hit right there in Angelina to the point. Sure, sure. In any case, it's not like this world instantly solved our problems. As a matter of fact, it's probably closer to the opposite. But did Angelina ever come out in actual story? Like, I don't recall her, at least in the main chapters. Chernobyl's destruction triggered a chain reaction around the world, and the sheer volume of this contract is testimony to the scope of the problem. Even if it's for the sake of securing necessity, necessary aid for Rhode Island in a timely manner, the sheer danger of these missions is enough to burn out our already exhausted operators. I wonder what's the timeline of this? Is this after, um, chapter 5? I understand, I guess chapter 5 must be going on, or this must be either, this must be after, or right before. I understand your concerns, but Rhode Island has never had the luxury of being able to take the save this route or forward. Furthermore, we aren't even the ones who will get the calls, call the shots on these matters. Sorry for the interruption, Doberman. I guess it's time for the doctor to come in. Oh, doctor, and then, uh, two came at a good time. An instructor, and Angelina in Providence. Thank you for the hard work, since you two are back at the Rhode Island, that must mean, that must mean white. Some good news? That's right, we've successfully renegotiated the terms of the contract and we have brought back basically all the contents relevant to the contract as well. I guess this is the quote-unquote contingency contract you're talking about? Great, thanks a ton, both of you. Don't mention it, it's part of a messenger's job description. Is it? <laughs> I guess in this world, messengers do everything. Like in the event right prior to it, about like all the penguin like logistics and stuff, I never thought what messengers do, but apparently they do a lot of stuff in this world. Now that we have successfully handed all the documents over to Doberman, we have something for the doctor as well. Oh, is it like a chocolate gift? Assuming the doctor has been entrusted with t this task, right? Well done, Doctor. Take care of everything in this side. And we have full confidence in you. Too much, no pressure. It's just that don't feel need to push yourself too hard, okay? Angelina is really nice. Uh, doctor, you might not understand the full extent of the situation yet, right? Um, I only heard there was a contingency contract, that's all. We know there are a lot of things that you still can't remember, but please understand we also don't have time to talk you through everything step by step. But isn't this every time, like, it, it's, it's, I had some time to, like, get a uh, brief on stuff, but it's always you guys just bring it up last minute and, oh, we don't have time to do it, let's go do it, and just throw me right on the ground. Providence, Angelina, thanks again. You two should try to get some rest. Dr. Amiya, come with me. I'll explain contingency contracts as, you, as we go. Okay, tell me about it. Where should I start? Alright, long story short. You're gonna be, uh, contingency contracts are system independent from any political entity as far as we know. Wait, is this system? The easiest way to understand it is an independent intelligence exchange mechanism. Wait, so is there any person representing it? 
The system allows various organizational or individual requests to various tasks and forward them to those who are able to complete these tasks. So it's almost like a phone application that kind of like, you get to find whoever is free to do it. In the past, completing these contingent contracts has provided Rhode Island with enough supplies to sustain our operations. Whoa, isn't that pretty big money? In other ones, they are our important partners. Due to conflicts steered up by reunion, we were cut off from the contingency contract network, but we finally managed to reestablish an exchange channel thanks to the work of our messengers. As of the current situation Rhode Island is in, I'm sure you understand it as well as anyone else, we must carefully consider any benefits that contingency contracts can bring, no matter how minor. So basically, you're asking me to go make money. To reduce the impact of pillar recipes, what was that was original? Wait, how does that help that? After all, the contingency contract system was originally was by catastrophic messengers. Wait, what? So they're like CEOs of this like tech company? Even though we only take what we need, the contingency contract system does come with a consistent creep. Wait, how does doing a consistent like contingency contract help fight against catastrophes? Everything for the benefit of more lives. They always count something along these lines. Like, I don't understand this. I, I really don't understand how catastrophe works. And that's still the mystery. I already know what you're thinking. Empty platitudes do nothing but plant doubt and suspicion. But there is nothing empty about a corporation we've had in the past. Now it's Rhode Island that needs a helping hand. In Sucker Dorman's right, we don't have many options left at this point. I guess I don't have much options, right? Doctor, these tasks will be extremely difficult, however, this is the only chance we have at breaking through the deadlock facing Rhode Island. Wait, what's the deadlock? Guys, like, I'm, I'm kind of lost here. I understand, I'll do everything I can. I guess Doctor's pretty, um, compliant. Then, I'll explain the specific process of taking contract instructor, if you don't mind. Okay, so this is the important part. Doctor, please look here. These are all the contracts that we can currently take, based upon the specific terms set forth in each text contingency contract, but provide optional contracts for you to choose from. For example, if you're asked to eliminate certain targets, you may encounter enemies with the different abilities than normal and thus have to, adapt, have to adapt your tactics to accomplish our goals. There will be lots of contracts like that, although of course not all of them will necessarily increase the difficulty of the mission. Occasionally, we'll receive additional support from the Continuous Contract Network, which will make the task easier. I'll like everything that's possible. Using support when appropriate is a good thing, but make sure not to lose sight of the objective. Be aware that when call upon support, Rhode Island will leave empty-ended. So, less the better, right? Oh, here we go. A uh, very meta description. Furthermore, we have a certain degree of autonomy when completing contingency contracts, but does not mean that we have absolute freedom. Our operators are active across many widespread combat fronts, which means that we can take multiple condition contracts at the same time. However, you should know that um, logic logically means, right, certain contracts will cause conflicts with others. If we try to take them both at the same time, we'll actually jeopardize our chance of completing each other and must be aware of the situation. Okay, got it. Of course, carrying out multiple contracts at the same time means that the difficulty of operation will gradually increase if our con coordination and commanding falls short, which means, aka, if I fail, the con consequences could be disastrous. No pressure. Don't worry, though. I don't get to it. Okay, thank you, Amia. Thank you for like putting all the pressure on my shoulder. I don't question your abilities because I've witnessed them countless times. However, I need to stress this once again. Mission will have two different difficulty classifications based on the content of the contract, normal and hard, and the combined risk assessment of the uh, selected contracts. As long as continuous levels four or lower, the mission is normal. If it's seven or higher, harder. In some particular noteworthy operation zones, will be even higher. These various classifications exist to prevent Rhode Island from taking out unnecessary losses when fulfilling contracts. We can't afford to lose any more people. Yeah, for sure. Indeed, however, all of these ratings and levels are product of our most basic data, and lives combat rarely follow the textbook, anything can happen. And when it does, your leadership is the only thing we can count on. Guys, let's have a plan B here. <laughs> Piece of cake, just leave it to me. <laughs> Amiya was like, Doctor, like, are you serious? I see that you've already decided on your course of action. Of course, the goal is to get the most point as possible. Providen Providence and Angelina already took all of our files for our current contract with them, so you should take a look at what's left. Dr. Rhode Island has been in better shape before, but our trump card is in your hands. I'm expecting great things from you. Alright, so I guess all that talk was to say, Doctor, go make money. You're forced good or evil, all that matters is you're capable of. Survive, get the job done, and get paid. Exactly. Take on more dangerous challenges and on bigger bounty, that is it. If you survive, no matter what disasters await this world, the contingency contract that work always continues to weave the web that never sees the light of the day. Everything for the benefit of more lives. I call bullshit. Alright, so here we go. I guess this is the main menu, huh? Where do we start? I guess this one is the daily quest, right? So it refreshes in certain time. So I should kind of prioritize doing this, right? But let's just look around what others are stuff. So these are like basically things you can get from um, completing getting the points. And of course, I think this is the Siege's um, skin. So probably that's the first one to grab. And I guess these are just um, points you can get from completing certain missions. Okay, let's start by reading the map. A wide open space in the middle of the slum filled with um, haphazardly discarded garbage and vagrants with nowhere else to go, however this place also has become suitable then for enemies to hide. Then why are we going there? Okay, this doesn't show- this is not of any help. Okay, at least we have a picture of a map. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a pain because I don't see anything to block this line. So, I mean, are, are there gonna be something that come this way? That's gonna be a big pain in the ass and... Of course, whichever comes straight through will suck as well, so this should probably be the first area to block, but I'll kind of have to see if we need to block the back area as well. 
And I guess these are all... Oops, I chose everything. And I guess these are all the contingencies um, that I can put up. So let's see what these are. Contingency level will not increase when using additional support. Oh, whoa, what's this? It's like... I guess this is a uh, support, not um, contingency. So, but 100% attack speed, that's awesome. I guess these are contingencies. So let's check them out. Max HP seals are reduced to one. What does that mean? Does that mean I only have one HP or? All friendly units have minus 50 max HP. Okay, that's gonna suck. Uh, wow, it's only turned into red. All friendly units have minus 70 defense. Natural DP regeneration rate is reduced by 50%. That's gonna hurt a lot. Enemies gain 25 max HP. And max squad size reduced to 6 operators. Okay, so if I do everything, it's 10 points. So I guess I get to pick and choose and play some buffet here on which one to take on. So as an initial goal, maybe let's try hitting for that seven points. So we get at least we can at least clear the hard difficulty. That means I can take out up to three more points. So let's see what would be the worst. Okay, so I think limiting to six operator makes sense. It's like, do you really need a lot more than that? I think I don't know. Like if we have to defend the back area, you might need more people, but. I think starting at 6 makes sense. And enemies extra HP, I think 3 points? 150% doesn't sound too bad for 3 points. So I'll take that. And I don't know what this really is, the squad, the HP seals are reduced to 1. I'll take that and see what it is, it's only 1 point but... After this I'll probably take um, the decrease in DP regeneration. I don't know if it's gonna have like a, um, one of those rush dogs coming out from the street then I'm in trouble but I guess we'll get to see. Okay so this is the restrictions that we're gonna try on our first attempt. Max HP seals are reduced. I don't know what max HP seals they're referring to so we'll have to see. Hopefully this does not mean like we only have one HP. The neutral DP regeneration rate is reduced by 50%. I can probably counter that with like a lot of vanguards. Um, all enemies gain 150 max HP. I guess this means we just have to have a higher DPS. Max squad size limited to 6. I guess like we don't really need all of them unless we cover the backyard. So we'll try it and see it there. And as to whom to bring. Let's see. Probably Saria. To kind of use all the heals and defense as well. XCI obviously needs a lot of DPS. AI is probably good for DPS as well. And Myrtle probably to cover the DPS, um, I mean, or the DP regeneration debuff. And I guess, of course, Silver Ash all the time. Who should be the sixth member? Hmm. This is a hard call. I mean, I really don't know what the enemy is. So probably something in the line of, I guess I'll bring Chen and see how things go. I think Chen is pretty versatile, so let's go right for it. Long men outskirts. I guess we were at long men in the event right before. Okay, so where do we start? Oh, it's caster leader. Damn it. So this one goes over there and. Oh god, it stopped right there. That's good. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, it's Kester's coming right after? Oh, this is so slow. This is so... Oh, wait, is this literally just gonna walk right across? Are you kidding me? Like, what? Oh, you're not gonna walk in there, right? Oh, he did. That was very fast. That was so fast. What just happened? Okay, we we can't take the DP times two. Like that that is just no way I would be able to cover that. I guess that means lower HP, right? Um, and 
Yeah, let's keep it at 7. Like, I don't know if I can even beat this for once, so... What just happened? Alright, let's 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 give it a second try. Like, what the heck just happened there? Okay. But that doesn't really mean much, because it's still so fast. Yeah, like, what can I do to stop that thing? It's just walking right up. I can probably place, like, Shy here, but it's like it's not. Pro don't prioritize that. It's so strong. Wait, what? Wait, what? How come? How come it's not? Wait, what? So. Oh. I see. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, I think I was confused. I thought I lost because um, the caster walked into the um, 7 o'clock zone, but it was actually the dogs that probably went past Myrtle. So, and this HP cap basically means how many that can go into the... Um, I can miss. So since it was limited to one, one of the dog probably just made it a game over. Okay, okay, I see how things are going. Okay, in that sense, we really don't need to guard the caster from the beginning, so... Rather than reducing the HP, might as well reduce the cost. And I don't think Myrtle makes sense. If I need to guard against the dogs, like, I obviously can't. It's gonna be hard. So I'll probably go as a Siege, which has a little bit more defense power. And since there's a caster, like how am- that thing was heavy, it was so strong. How am I gonna get through that? Do I need a healer? Well, let's see how, how this goes. Let's give it a second try. Alright, Senior and Caster Leader, AoE range start. That hurts. Okay, the doggy is coming. Come on. 10, 11, 12. Oof. That was close. God, the HP is so high. Okay. So, where should I place? Oh, God, the caster is coming right away. That's gonna suck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh crap, come on. Yeah, the third skill. Go, 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 go. Okay, Caster's gonna go around. God, I wish it had stayed just a little more. Please don't tell me you're just gonna go in there, please. Um, I need to heal, actually. I Wait, is this another caster? No, at least not. Uh, where should I place her? Probably... I think here makes sense. So I can heal like whoever gets placed over there as well. Come on, heal, heal, heal. There we go. But I guess now like I don't get SP from um, Siege. So that was good defending first round, but not that good. Okay, they're just going around in circle. That was really wasteful. Maybe Siege is not the best option here. And I probably want... Him there. Okay, thank god I thought that was gonna go in. Okay, the CG is completely getting wasted. Uh, maybe I should use this to take out the caster. Come on, heal, heal. Come on, let's take out one more. Yes! Okay. So we got rid of that. 
Um, oh god, like I should have placed a uh, beforehand. I don't know what enemies are coming, so I feel a little hesitant to... Mm, probably this, so we can hit at least once here. Hmm. Okay, the skill's gone. God, the dogs have so much HP. Yeah, the siege... Putting her there was a complete waste. Come on. Okay, actually I just had her third skill on. That's nice. Come on, let's let's get through. Oh god, that's that's a heavy defense. Uh, probably want to chant somewhere, right? Oh god, there's so many of them. And they're coming straight up. Are we... Can we defend everything? Holy crap, it's like swarming so bad. And now we have a guardman here too. And two casters, you kidding me? Okay, um, I think I need Siege somewhere as well. Just get her to attack. Okay, okay, good timing, good timing, good timing. Perfect timing. Silver, Ash, Slash. Let's go. Get them all. Oh, shit. Come on, these are the only two left. You can do it, you can do it. Okay, I think I got it, right? This is the last one. Whew. Okay, that was that was not bad. I thought I was gonna like totally fail the I guess this is the second try, but Okay, that that wasn't too bad. Eight points. I think that's not a bad start. So where do we get the reward from? Oh, over here. Uh, complete one operation in Baron Plaza. Collect. Collect. Uh, contingency level of at least one. At least two. At least three. At least four. At least five. At least six. At least seven. At least eight. Wait, is that it? There's no requirement for 9 points? Is that all I have to do? Okay, I guess that somehow came up perfect then. I mean, if there's... we could still try, but if there's no points, then I guess I could try on the Area 59 then. Okay, that was, that was relatively quick. And I get 1000 points, which is one third of what I need for Siege. Okay. So on our second try, um, we somehow managed to do 8 points, but I feel like that was not a good strategy because I completely wasted the location of Siege. So um, there's still improvements and maybe you could try higher points, maybe 10 or something, but for now let's move on to Area 59.